up with it, y'all? EJOE Business. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy my reaction. What we are about to get up into right now is up into some chili as Malema. I have not watched anything of his in a while. So I was going down YouTube because I was like, man, let me find some of his to react to, you know? So I was going down and then I just came across this. It had Julius Malema, and I think it says some shit like he agrees with Russia. I'm just like, oh shit, fuck is he about to talk about? But anyways, the title of it is Julius Malema addresses white people who wants to leave South Africa if he becomes president. Oh shit, I cannot wait to watch this. See what the hell he's about to say and all this. So, um, yeah, it looks like, oh shit. I guess, I don't know. They got this girl right here. I don't know if she's about to narrate it or whatever. Just talk about it. Oh, no. All right. Anyways, man, let's check this out. Let's see what he's talking. Well, she is talking about. Let's see. Obviously, what he's getting up into. Let's go. Julius Malema is definitely special. And I don't think this is the first time that I am saying that he's special because he really is. He's really different. Whether you like him or hate him. He's different and he speaks his mind. He was interviewed recently by BBC, I believe, and he was asked, how do you feel about white people in South Africa saying that they will leave South Africa if you become president? Let me pause this. So let me tell you something. This was back in like 2015 before Trump was even president. Man, bro, you know how many people were saying that they were going to leave America if he becomes president? Ain't no motherfucker left. I will tell you that. Nobody left. It was just funny as shit. Man, I'm leaving if he becomes president. Da -da 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 -da. They still here. And he hasn't been a president for a while. We got sleepy ass Joe Biden. They still here. All right, anyways, let's go back into this. All right, you know. Just like she said, how, you know, Julius is an interesting person. I don't know how the fuck I found out about him, what made me do a reaction. But goddamn, I really enjoyed him. All right, anyway. All right, let's get back to this. This is what he said. You know there are some South Africans, and let us be blunt, many white South Africans yes. who fear Julius Malema. They, some of them have said to me, if Malema gets to power or close to power, I will leave this country. Do you welcome their fear? Or do you want to find ways to overcome their fear? I don't welcome their fear. Stephen, they said that about Mandela, the most celebrated Mandela. You're talking about me. They said if Mandela, a prisoner, becomes the president who are living in this country, and they left. I was in a, the Val River the other day yeah. looking at some of the houses that whites abandoned in 1994 when Mandela became a president. They are not scared of Julius Malema. They are scared of an independent black man who's not controlled by any white person, who's not controlled by London. Last year, you said this. It was after you'd questioned whether a particular white person, why they hadn't been located and, quote, taken to an isolated space where our supporters could attend to the guy properly. And you went on to say, you must never be scared to kill. A revolution demands that at some point there must be killing because killing is part of the revolutionary uh, act. Absolutely. This was last year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Damn. You can't say you're a revolutionary and then be scared to kill. But once you, you go killing uh, people around, you are a terrorist. When you've got the support of the majority of your people to engage in war, and the majority of the people are with you, that is the revolution, it's not terrorism. And therefore, I'm not a terrorist. I'm, that's why I'm saying, at least for now, the conditions have at not least for now. that there should be anyone who- I'm not a terrorist, at least for now. I know that's not what I mean, but that's hell of fun. I'm not a terrorist, at least for now, but I'll eat. Uh, that was the first thing I thought. I was like, what the fuck? But, you know, I will tell you something about this title right now. I think I kind of went at this thinking he was about to go just start shooting it up. But he ain't like that. You know, it was just off the title. Like the way I read that title, it may sound like he was just about to black -a, black -a, black -a, black -a. just go after everybody. But anyways, let's go back. All right. Should go to the bush and engage in war to kill. But if those conditions necessitate, will will without hesitation do that. 
That was his answer. And it's interesting that, honestly, white people in South Africa believe that if they leave South Africa, like South Africa will collapse or something will happen to South Africa, like they're using it as a threat. Like if Julius Malema becomes a president, we will leave. Uh huh. And then like, what's your point? <laughs> I yeah, don't Fev don't give a fuck. Why they're trying to insinuate that if they leave, um, it's just gonna be a horrible thing, right? As if they didn't go there and colonize a whole people and you know uh, take over and run the economy, basically. Uh, so yeah, it's sometimes bizarre how some people give themselves such power and they believe that they're mini gods in this world it's just unfortunate and as he mentioned when mandela uh, was trying to become a leader they were saying that we're gonna leave south africa and some of them actually did and did south africa collapse because they left i don't think so it was just so interesting that um that's what they're saying right now not only that he was asked like what kind of relationship will south africa have if he becomes president with Russia. And this is what he said. Let's take one particular aspect of your policy positions. Yes. Do you think aligning yourself with Vladimir Putin is going to be good for South Africa? But that's what it is now. South Africa is in alliance with Russia, with India, uh, with Brazil, with China. Really? So why are you asking me as if it's a, some policy that is going to be implemented South Africa right after now. I took over? South Africa is in alliance with Russia now. South Africa right now calls itself non-aligned. In the context of the war, but these are two different things. South Africa is an ally of Russia. Really? Now, the second question is, where does South Africa stand on the war? It says I'm a non-aligned in relation to war, but Russia remains South Africa's friend. So really? we cannot create confusion around there. Don't create an impression that it is Malema who's going to come and create an alliance with Russia. But there are some very specific Actually, I will, if, if go, I may I will so. go beyond that. I will go beyond the, the friendship with Russia. And in the war, I will align with Russia and I will even supply the weapons to Russia. Because Russia is in a war with, with imperialism. And any agenda that seeks to push back uh, imperialist agendas, it's well within the policies of the EFF. Malema is different. That's why I say he's special because what you see is what you get. And that's the kind of leaders I feel like we need because most politicians will promise you this and that and campaign and just promise you the world. And then once they're in that office, they go out the window and they don't deliver. If anything, they work against the people and they just want to stay in power and loot and steal and take as much as they can. So when someone is open and honest, the least we can do is, you know, respect that. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts That's true, right there. That's how it is. I will tell you everything with the government. Whenever people want to get elected, it seems like they'll say whatever the hell they want to make people just agree with them. EFF, hey, can you guys really see him being president out there? Cause it's like hella weird because it's like, you know, I like a lot of his speeches. I like a lot of things he does, but like, for example, out here in America, ain't no independent person winning. And I know how, you know, what I know of the EFF and like how, like, like he's independent. You guys think he has a shot in winning, man? Let me know. I'm kind of curious about that. Because I think that's how we need to get an independent president out here in America. Oh, for real, man. Because people need me in the middle. And I think that's what will happen. But, man, y'all let me know how you guys feel about this. Let me know what you guys feel about um, everything, what he was saying. That shocked me about um, Russia. I didn't know if South Africa and Russia, uh, their allies, allies, excuse me. I didn't know. But... Y'all let me know how you guys feel about that, man. I gotta I gotta get some more Julius in. I gotta start reacting to more of him. You already know what it is. I'm about out of here. Thank you for coming. Y'all go ahead, subscribe to the channel, like this video. You already know what it is. We gone.